Now that college basketball is over, we need to focus on a plan that's gaining some momentum for a football super conference. We'll tell you what it means for the Big Ten if it were to ever happen, and I don't like it. Locked on Big Ten starts right now. You are locked on Big Ten. Your daily podcast on the Big Ten Conference. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network. Your team every day. Welcome to Locked On Big Ten. I'm Craig Sheeman. Coming up on 40 years as a sports talk show host and a play-by-play announcer. And I want to thank you for making us your first listen each and every day. We're free and available wherever you get your podcasts. And on YouTube, it's part of the Lockdown Podcast Network, your team every day. And today's episode is brought to you by Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use the code Locked On for twenty dollars off your first purchase. All right, there's a lot of stuff going on with college football. First, there's this momentum for this this plan of a super conference, but it's not like anything that we've talked about here before on Lockdown Big Ten. Who's in? Who's out? We got all of that. Plus, spring football games are this week and our academic power rankings. Where does your favorite school fall on that list? We'll get to it in due time. But now the basketball is over. I want to jump into something here that I've been reading about for a few days. I wanted to share with you and get your take on it. And it has to do with a super conference plan for college football that appears to be getting, gaining some momentum among the football higher-ups. I read a piece in The Athletic about it. I hear a lot of the national talking heads on radio talking about it. So um, somebody out there is giving this idea credence. But before I jump into this plan, some of it I don't buy at all, by the way. I think it's just too crazy, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But I will tell you um, what I think will happen and what should happen. And some of this, uh, some of these ideas are things we've talked about here with uh, each other here on lockdown big 10 before, but we all know it that college football at some point in some form or fashion is going to veer away from the NCAA. And it's going to be under the formation of some sort of super conference or super conferences for the big 10 and the sec or something like that. My vision and my opinion on the direction that we're headed is this. And I've shared this again, many times with you here on lockdown big 10, I think it comes down to two big super conferences of 24 to 30 teams. There's going to be a Big Ten version and there's going to be an SEC version. You know, uh, all are welcome. Well, not all are welcome, but the ones we're going to welcome some in. And that's going to be it. The door is going to close after that. And the two super conferences will run run the season much like the NFL does with an AFC and an NFC, and they'll have their own playoff and they'll have their own championship. And either you're in these two leagues or you're not. And that's how we're going to settle things in college football. And um, I, I think this is the way we're going down the road. And if you want to be relevant, you got to be in one of these conferences, one of these 48 to 60 teams that we're going to group together. Sorry, Notre Dame. Sorry, not sorry. But you're going to, if you want to be relevant, you're going to have to be in one of these. You have to pick a side. And as usual, it will come down to money and TV deals and all that. But that's the direction we're headed here now. I will tell you about the plan that I hear and read is gaining momentum among the college football types. Now, keep in mind, these are some of the same pinheads that can't decide on a 12-team football playoff or uh, format or a 14-team uh, playoff. It's just they can't get to act together. I have no confidence that this plan I'm about to tell you that they're considering will ever come to fruition, but I'll throw it out there anyway. So they want uh, a new super college football league that would hold eight divisions of 10 teams each. Okay. 80 teams already. That's too much. It's already too much. But anyway, the first 70 teams would reportedly consist of the top teams in college football. Your Alabama's Michigan, Georgia, Ohio state, Penn state, Oklahoma, Texas. You get the idea. Basically, the Power Five or Power Four, whatever the heck we're calling it these days, plus throw in Notre Dame. The remaining 10 spots after the first 70 schools, the last 10 spots would go to a group of five schools. Now, the top 70 would always have a place in this Super League. The bottom 10 would have to earn their way in or earn their way out 
much like soccer relegation in Europe. All right. There's no guarantee you'd be in. I mean, if you're a really horrible school and you haven't won any games in three years, you're not going to be in it. Meanwhile, if you're a smaller school and you get real hot, I don't know, you're a, you're a coastal Carolina and you're on fire, you get in. That kind of deal. So what happens to the Big Ten under this future plan? Well, under this plan, one of those eight divisions of 10 would be called the Big Ten. And it would be reconstructed. Yeah, it would include schools like Minnesota and Iowa, Kansas, Nebraska, Colorado, and five other schools would be included. However, Michigan and Ohio State, for example, they wouldn't be in it. They would be in what they would call the Midwest Division with nine other schools, eight other schools. That's right. They would no longer technically be part of a Big Ten or the Big Ten. There was also talk in this plan of salary for players plus an NFL-style draft. I've even heard mentions of trades. You're going you to trade a kid? You're going to trade a kid from uh, from Ann Arbor to uh, Columbus? I don't trade in the same division. It's ridiculous. There's some ridiculous stuff in here. No matter how crazy all this seems, more and more experts claim that the current path for college football and with nil and transfer portals, it cannot sustain itself. I think we agree with that. We've talked about that here. But given the way that TV deals are arranged with conferences and there are varying lengths of time for different amounts of money, I don't know how you untangle all that. You would have to have like the ACC deal, which we've talked about a lot with ESPN and on the same date as the Big Ten deal with like NBC and the SEC deal with 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 ESPN, they would all have to end at the same time so they could come up with this new deal. That's not happening. They're always overlapping. No way to untangle all that. We're already down this road. This would take over a decade to even think about. So there are many ideas on how to fix college football, and this matrix that I just laid out for you might actually ruin football as we know it, if it ever happens. Others would argue that football is ruining itself if we stay the course. At the end of the day, I would be very comfortable if I were a Big Ten school or an SEC school. I, I would be very nervous if I was an ACC school. That's blowing up. We're very, we've documented that numerous times here. If you don't believe me, just look at Exhibit A. It's called the Pac-12. Doesn't exist anymore. I would be a little nervous if I was the, uh, the uh, Big 12. I, you know, I think the Big 12 acts like it's a, a comfortable third super conference out here but i think it's a little bit of fool's gold honestly with texas and oklahoma leaving in a few weeks to go to the sec i don't think the big 12 has anywhere near the cachet the big 10 or the sec does so i'd be very nervous about them blowing up after the acc blows up again i'd be very comfortable if i were a big 10 school or an sec school those conferences will only grow and get bigger nobody's getting kicked out or anything like that uh, maybe locked on big 10 or you or I, we should get together and we should be the conference, uh, czar or the, uh, college football czar or some sort of commissioner and run things again. We like a much more, we think it's going down a much more simpler path of just two super comp, the big 10 and the sec will continue to grow, take in schools from the ACC and the big 12. I think ultimately down the road, maybe by, uh, the year, uh, 2030, that's how we look. I, I think the Big Ten will grow before then, by the way, and add some more schools. But anyway, that's what I think will happen. That's how I think. We're not going to get into this whole like matrix super conference and Michigan's leaving the Big Ten to go to this Midwest conference. It's not happening. That's too crazy. At least I think so. What do you think? Love to hear from you on all of that. But again, this is gaining momentum. These guys are talking. People are talking. Let's put the kibosh on that. I don't like it at all. Let's stick with my plan. Much simpler, very reasonable as well. And everybody gets money because that's what it's all about, it seems like. Anyway, I'd like to hear uh, from you about it. You can hit me up on Twitter or X at Talk Big Ten, also on YouTube as well. And uh, don't forget our website, talkbig 10 number 10com Always love to, uh, to hear from you there. Uh, also, if you like what you hear here, tell your friends about it, especially if they're Big Ten alum, and subscribe. Always ask you to subscribe. Just click the button. You're subscribed. Nothing else required. It's free, and you're in our Big Ten club, and we talk every day. That's how we do it. 
Uh, you'll get the latest episode of this podcast as soon as it becomes available each day if you are subscribed. Again, uh, in the morning, it's uh, 4 a.m. for the audio only, Eastern Time, 6 a.m. Eastern for the uh, podcast on YouTube. All right? A couple other things we want to talk about. Uh, spring football is here. You know, we got spring football games this weekend on TV, too. It's cool. We will check all that out. It's all coming up here in one minute on Locked On Big Ten. Right now, uh, new customers get $150 in bonus bets guaranteed with FanDuel. I mean, it is NBA and NHL playoff time, postseason, uh, and plus the baseball regular season is going full swing. Get in with FanDuel your place to bet on every single game. Again, new customers get $150 of bonus bets guaranteed. It's 150 bucks, win or lose. Bet on everything from slap shots to home runs to slam dunks. And it's all on an app that's very safe. It's secure. It's very easy to figure out as well. So what are you waiting for? You can visit fanduel.com slash locked on and make your first bet an automatic win. And with we got the Masters coming up. Sure, throw a prop bet on Tiger. Or a better bet, Brooks Kepka always seems to play well in the majors, even though he's not playing that well and live right now. Um, lots going on with the NBA. Love over-under numbers with the NBA. Tampa Bay Lightning in the NHL. Keep an eye on them in the early round, uh, the first round of the playoffs. That's I like them. They're playing really well. And UConn just won the national championship in basketball. They are already 10-1 to favorites to win it again in uh, in 2025. Three Pete and seven in the last 25 years. It's a dynasty, right? Duke and Kansas also in the mix as well. But you can check it all out on fanduel.com slash locked on and make your first bet an automatic win. FanDuel, America's number one sports book. I want to thank everybody for making Lockdown Big Ten your first listen every day, especially you everydayers out there. Thank you very much. Meanwhile, be sure to subscribe on YouTube, share, follow, and like Lockdown Big Ten, your team, every day. And don't forget our website at talkbig10number10.com. Hey, spring football is here. Got games this weekend, spring scrimmages, games, whatever you want to call them. Lots of people are going to be there. Now, starting tomorrow, Thursday, Minnesota. But Minnesota's really not doing a spring game. We talked about this about a month ago. So PJ Fleck isn't doing a spring game. Really, really doesn't do spring games. More like controlled, uncontrolled scrimmages. This is going to be more of a, a sponsor fan event Thursday night at 5:30. So that's what they're going to do. But on Saturday, the Ohio State. Yeah, that's right. We got ourselves a uh, we got an inner squad football game on Fox, and we're going to be keeping a close look on quarterback Will Howard. Take a look at Chip Kelly's offense. Should be good. National television Saturday at noon Eastern. Also at noon Eastern on the Big Ten Network. Ryan Walters and Purdue. Um, he's got a lot of kids from the portal. Get to learn more people who were uh, what they're all about coming to Purdue. Hudson Card, second year as the quarterback there. Penn State's going at 2 o'clock Eastern on Saturday. Going to get our look at uh, Julian Fleming at wide receiver, the Ohio State transfer, and Drew Aller, see if there's any chemistry there downfield. So three schools in action on Saturday. You can check them all out. We'll run through the rest. Of course, next Thursday on the 18th, Indiana, 8 p.m. Thursday night, Kurt Signetti, his, uh, his first run at it as the head coach of the Hoosiers. They got a, a handful of quarterbacks they got to deal with there, transfers, recruits from the state, very excited to see uh, how that plays out. And then a week from Saturday, April 20th, another big one at noon, Michigan's turn at Ann Arbor. That will also be on Fox. Get a good look at Sharon Moore, although we've already, we know what he's going to look like as head coach. We saw him do it uh, for several games when Jim Harbaugh was out. But um, uh, Alex Orgy and Jaden uh, Danigal at quarterback, who's going to win that battle? Plus, Wink Martindale and the new defensive scheme. It's going to be very interesting for Michigan. There are a lot of storylines there. Illinois is going at 2 o'clock next Saturday, week from Saturday on the 20th on the Big Ten Network. USC getting ready for their first Big Ten season, 3 o'clock. They're still on the Pac-12 Network. That still exists for a few more weeks. 
Uh, and then Iowa and Michigan State on Saturday, April 20th as well. They have not, from what I have seen, released a time yet. There'll be no Cade McNamara for Iowa. He's still recovering from a knee injury. Uh, Aiden Childs at Michigan State with Jonathan Smith, their first go at it for the Spartans. Then if you want to jump ahead to another week, this is now Saturday, April 27th. Maryland goes at noon. It's on the Big Ten Network. Uh, Talia Tangaboyola out, no longer there at quarterback. MJ Morris, the transfer out of NC State, is first on their depth chart. We'll see what he looks like. Meanwhile, Nebraska, Dylan Rayola, our first look at him, the five-star freshman coming in. That, again, this is Saturday, April 27th. This will be at noon. Rutgers is playing at 3 o'clock on this day on the Big Ten Network. And then at 4 o'clock Eastern is Oregon's game. Bo Nix is gone. Dylan Gabriel calling the shots. UCLA going at 5 o'clock. New coach there. We'll see if anything changes after Chip Kelly's departure. We still have more. Now, Washington is waiting until May, May 3rd, 9.30 p.m. That's a Friday night to have its spring game. Will Rogers, Coach Jed Fish. We'll see how that looks. In fact, in fact, you'll need some sort of roster or scorecard for that because there's so many new players at Washington this year. Meanwhile, Wisconsin, um, they're really not having a spring game because Camp Randall is under renovations and construction, but a big story out of the spring is going to be a quarterback with Tyler Van Dyke, who came in from Miami, and, of course, Brayden Locke, who has a year under his belt, already playing for Luke Fickle and Phil Longo. And they'll end up having some sort of fan fest open practice in the summertime, getting ready for the fall. And Northwestern, I don't have any information on Northwestern. Uh, I know that Ryan Field is under major renovations. That Northwestern, I don't even think they have uh, all their contracts short up as to where they're going to play. They're going to play at numerous different places for home games throughout the season because they can't play at Ryan Field. And I'm sure. Spring football is just a, as big of a mess, too. Plus, the weather its not that good there yet this time of year. So we'll see. By the way, have you noticed that Bill Belichick has been bouncing around the Big Ten lately? First of all, uh, he's got some free time, right? Didn't land a coaching gig after leaving the Patriots this offseason. He was recently spotted hanging out with the Washington Huskies program. Of course, remember his son, Steve Belichick, landed there as their defensive coordinator. Then last week, Matt Rule invited Belichick to be a guest speaker at his coach's clinic in Nebraska, and Rule admitted into being a little bit in awe of Belichick because he just spewed his football knowledge to everyone for hours. Um, Rule said that Belichick could, could take complex X's and O's in a situation and just break it down and make it so simple that he said, these are his words, it kind of embarrasses you because you don't know as much as this Bill Belichick. So. Uh, Rule said after the clinic, the coach's clinic, he then spent another four and a half hours talking nonstop to his coaching staff, breaking it down, X and an O, got the grease pencil out on the board. Rule joked that after like three and a half hours in, he was like, hey, Bill, you need, you need a bottle of water, something? I mean, he just kept going. Bathroom break? He joked. He'd be like, I offered a bathroom break because Matt Rule had to go at that point. He said, Bill checks it. No, I'm good. Just kept motoring on. Uh, now that the college basketball season is over for men and women and the WNBA draft is on the 15th, Caitlin Clark and others were very excited to see where they end up. What about that $5 million offer from Ice Cube and his three-on-three -three basketball league we talked about? She said she learned about the offer the same way everybody else did, through the media, the social media. She's got people that handles that so she can work on a craft and concentrate on basketball. But in the end, hey, $5 million is a lot of money. But Lockdown Big Ten thinks that she'll, uh, she won't even spend five seconds on it, considering it. Um, she will be the number one pick of the WNBA draft in the Indiana Fever. By the way, WNBA venues are selling out, like quadruple their normal price whenever the Indiana Fever are on the schedule. She hasn't even been drafted yet. Um, I believe Vegas had to move their venue for a preseason game because they're taking on the Fever and they're anticipating Caitlin Clark coming. This is unbelievable. She's going to do for the WNBA what she did for women's college basketball here, no doubt. Hey, do you spend a lot of time watching daytime sports TV, Fox, ESPN, talking heads, all that gibberish, screaming, yelling, talking over each other? How about making the switch to Locked On Sports Today? It's a free 24-7 sports streaming channel program for you every day to bring you the biggest stories without all the screaming. 
Lockdown Sports Today brings you can't-miss analysis, opinions, and news streaming 24-7 on YouTube or the uh, Amazon Fire TV channels app, which we tell you about all the time. It's part of the Lockdown Podcast Network, your team every day. You know, in the middle of the week, we always like to do our power rankings. I saw a report in U.S. News and World Report that had the academic ratings of all the colleges. So we boiled it down to the Big Ten teams. Does your school have the best academic reputation? We'll uh, run down that and have some fun. I'm already mad at my alma mater. We'll have it in a minute right here on Locked On Big Ten. Hey, you want to go to a game? You want to go to a game? You want to go to a concert? You want to go to a show? Go to Game Time. Get the Game Time app. Uh, it makes getting tickets a snap. It's super easy. It takes all the stress away if you're the person that's in control or in charge of getting tickets to all your events for all your people. They've got uh, a lot of, of great browsing features, and uh, you can. it makes it so easy. A couple taps on your phone, boom, you get your tickets right there. They even have, like, they'll show you the view of your seat you're about to buy, about the ticket you're about to buy, so you know ahead of time what your view will be. Maybe you want to upgrade or move it back a notch, whatever. It's all right there. They have all sorts of great deals. They've got last-minute deals that save you up to 60% off uh, buying last-minute sports, concerts, comedy, theater. They have flash deals that save even more money with an exclusive in-app deal on select seats ahead of a game or event. They've got something called zone deals, save you even more when you choose a section and then let game time choose the seats. There are many ways to keep saving and get a great deal here. And they have their lowest price guarantee. Or Game Time will credit you 110% of the difference. Take all the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, use the code Locked On College for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and the redeem code Locked On College. That's L O C K E D O N C O L L E G E. Locked On College for $20 off. Download the game time out today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. All right, it's time for our power rankings that we do here in the middle of the week. We always find some sort of topic to rank. And we are going to rank our 18 Big Ten schools academically. Now, I'm not doing this. I, I'm going to give credit to where I found this. This was in U.S. News and World Report. And um, so don't yell at me if your school is down low. All right, here we go. I'm going to put it on screen. If you're on audio only, I will describe it as best as I can. Uh, U.S. News and World Report says that Northwestern is the best academic school in the Big Ten. I don't think a lot of people are going to fight that. I got the number next. The number next to it is the national number. They listed like 150 some schools. Okay, they were the ninth best one in the country, but number one in the Big Ten. Big Ten newcomer UCLA coming in at number two. A lot of great medical schools there and whatnot. They are 15th in the country. Michigan at number three. Medical schools, music schools, all that stuff. They're 21 in the country. Southern Cal comes in at number four among the Big Ten teams, 28th in the country, private school. Illinois. Doing very well academically. Number five in the Big Ten, 35th in the country. They also tied with Wisconsin, 35th in the country, and sixth in the Big Ten. Rutgers and Washington, they may be uh, 3,000 miles apart, but they're right next to each other in the ranking, 7-8 in the Big Ten, and tied nationally at 40. The Ohio State coming in at number nine in the Big Ten academically. And number 43 in the country, as is Purdue, the engineering school, of course. The, the Ohio State and Purdue tied 43rd in the country, 9-10 in the Big Ten. Again, this is according to U.S. News and World Report, not me. Don't yell at the messenger. At number 11, 46 in the country, Maryland. At number 12, 53rd in the country, Minnesota. Michigan State coming in at 13th in the Big Ten academically, 60th in the country, as was Penn State. Michigan State and Penn State tied 60th in the country, 13-14 in the Big Ten. Indiana at 15 and 73rd in the country. This is, uh, this is horrendous. This is my alma mater, as you know. Should be higher. 
great business school, great music school, great law school. What are we doing? Rank this down, this far, this, this far down. I don't know. Uh, number 16, uh, is Iowa. I believe that's supposed to be 80th in the country. Uh, a little typo there. 17 Oregon academically number 98 in the country and Nebraska did not crack the top 100 in the country at 159 and 18th in the big 10. Again, these are according to us news and world report and not me. So there, what do you think? Still love to hear from you. Uh, many ways for you to interact with this show as usual. Uh, we always look forward to hearing from you on Twitter at X at talk big 10, number 10, also on YouTube, and don't forget our website, talkbig10number10.com. You can also go there, check out all of our podcasts, the chronological and group by school and team. Or oh, yourself some swag while you're there. It's all right there on the website, talkbig10number10.com. And before you go, please subscribe, click the button. That's all it takes. No other information. And you're in our Big Ten Club, and you can subscribe. And follow this podcast right now on your favorite podcast app and to get the latest episode of Lockdown Big Ten as soon as it becomes available each and every day, first thing in the morning. And uh, don't forget that Lockdown has also launched the first ever national sports 24-7 streaming channel on YouTube. Lockdown Sports Today is here for you 24-7, covering the top sports stories of the day with local experts of Lockdown, plus our national shows covering every single league. Just go to Lockdown Sports Today on YouTube. And subscribe there too, the first ever national sports 24 7 streaming channel. We'd love to invite you to hang around uh, after this. Watch another episode of Locked On Big Ten. Always love having you around and also tell your friends about us, especially if they are Big Ten alum. Um, I would uh, I would love for them to get on board and join us as well. Maybe they don't know that we exist. You do. So tell them about us and uh, that will be great. I always appreciate that. That'll do it. We'll have some more spring football coming up, getting closer and closer to the big weekend. Any other news that breaks, we'll have it right here. Your source for everything on the Big Ten. For Lockdown Big Ten, I'm Craig Sheeman. Thank you for checking us out. I can't wait till we meet again tomorrow.